Hey guys, this is Jay. Uh, I just got finished making charcoal and I don't know if this is a harebrained idea or not, but I took the same two paint cans that I used for making charcoal and I stuffed it through full of bituminous coal and I'm attempting to coke my coal in the fire. Now, I don't know how well this is going to turn out. I don't know if it's going to be the right temperature and pressures to actually convert the coal into coke. This is just simply an experiment and it might just end up being <laughs> a shot in the dark and a big mess, but at least I'm at least still I'll see what I get out of it. it do, I do see quite a bit of the volatiles burning off. You can smell it in the air. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, let's see. I'll go back and walk into the shop. Hang with me for a second here. So, got my coal forge set up pretty well. I fired it up once already and started working on my first set of tongs. And got to the point where I was agitated because the anvil was cutting to, into the metal too much and gouging it. So, I started grinding on the thing real he heavily to, to smooth out the edges started working on the baker and I still gotta round this out a little more it just got too late at night and I just got tired so I gotta finish this out I'm planning on grinding this out underneath and having this fully rounded by the time I get done but got a decent batch of charcoal going on in here and I laid out some, some from the one pail and, and then there's there's my stash of coal so it'll be happy firing for a while but I figured with as mu much volatiles that burn off while firing with coal I wanted to see whether I could coke it up or not if I can, if it works out well I'll be buying a lot more paint cans and just trying to do a whole bunch of them in one firing either that or I might convert one of these 55 gallon drums I got in into a little cokery we'll see what happens but so far it's been working pretty nice I've been getting a real good amount of BTUs I, out of this. I also getting a decent supply it supply of clinker. So I'm gonna use that for filling in all the all the bare spots in the barn. I heard from quite a few sources that that using the ash and the clinker really makes good fill and it's a lot nicer to walk on this than it is to walk on concrete and a lot easier on the feet so let's see how it works out this is jay signing off later later